Okay, welcome everyone. Um, uh, PC Building Simulator. The reason why I thought I'd do a few um, covers of this is purely because whatever you see on here generally you just can't buy. So why not have a go at making your own, see what it looks like, how much it costs roughly. Obviously costs on this game are all phew, way out of the ballpark, etc. But with the current prices of GPUs, etc. Yeah, probably about right. So I thought, why not get into um, making some PCs and see what they sell for, how much money you can make. And at the same time, maybe, you know, subscriber count goes up, etc. Um, get a certain amount of subscribers, run little competitions, who can, you know, spec out the best build. I'll build whatever everyone wants me to spec out. And we'll have a look at what it looks like in general, all different cases and also who can build the best budget PC and I'll keep a record of everyone and we'll have you know regular updates if that's what everyone wants so yeah please subscribe um, hit the like button certainly everybody knows how it works now I don't need to tell you all but this is the one where I've been this is the Asus Republica gamers room really nice don't ask me about colors because I'm fully colorblind so I couldn't tell you I wouldn't have a clue it's all blue to me so any pinks, purples, modes, can't see them, they're just blue. Um, this is current things I've got going on. This is the main PC. There's my name up there. The dogs, yep, we won't say that. But this is the main PC. You get all your bits on there. You get your emails, which come through for people who want new rigs bill. They've got problems, broken PCs they want you to fix. Um, and on there as well, PC Bay, so it's a bit like eBay. I've got all these made already. You know, I've just made these. When you when you go to buy stuff, you get a list of buys. So you can buy stuff at a fraction of the price. But you've got to avoid putting them in customers' PCs, try and use new parts. So that is the PCs I've built so far. So you can see this one's currently at four grand. Uh, two days remaining. And then the rest and so on. So we'll close that. But in terms of an inventory... All of these in this cupboard, this is all the ones that are on PC Bay. And then any empty cages you get, you can store them here. Then if you look at all of this equipment, as I say, lovely, you know, got some nice headphones, keyboards. Um, I'm trying to see what one that is, the Strix Flare. Uh, it's all mainly Strix stuff. Uh, so yeah, really nice. There is DLC pack. Oh look, there's a little uh, sweatshirt there, a couple of jackets, but they don't know why they're there, they say nothing, with a big, what looks like, sword, and then some keyboards, a couple of uh, robot arms, nice little weapon, of no idea what that is, and so on. So, this is where it all sort of happens. Now, if you swap to another workshop, there is six workshops. You have the basic, this is the number one basic one. Then you've got one by Razer, obviously with public gamers, NZXT, Overclockers, and then the big fat boy. This is a beast, an absolute beast. And I'll show you that last. But let's go back to the very basics. So you accept that. Um, this is the very basic um, workshop. So... The very basic workshop but what happens is when you change workshops all of your equipment that you've had everything that you're working on goes with you so you get three desks you start off in the beginning with one desk then you buy another desk then you buy a third desk the storage cupboards in the corner they've upgraded and added more pictures and stuff on the walls computers there this is your whiteboard where you get your new builds and this is the inventory so in my inventory because i've been doing this a long time I have lots of different processors, Intel, AMD. Um, they do a 5950, so they do 5950Xs, but they don't do the 5600s or the 5000 series at the moment. CPU coolers, everything from your bog standard air coolers to your um, AIOs for all different manufacturers. And you can also choose, so you go to manufacturer, choose a manufacturer type, air liquid socket whatever it fits size again lighting 
colour RGB if you like a bit of RGB. Uh, motherboards again, all different types of motherboards from top flight. So sockets, you've got your Intel's down here, all these one, two, three, four, five there, and then you've got your AM4, which covers the whole range, and then you've got your STRX, these are your thread rippers, the big boys, and the slightly lesser big boys. Form factors again, E80X Micro Mini S and XL. Uh, memory, again, all types of memory from 4 gig to 32 gig, RGB, non RGB, and the manufacturers, for example, the Data Corsair, the FLG Skill, and so on and so forth. Um, team Group, got some beautiful Team Group uh, uh, RGB in what I think is blue. I have no idea, colour blind, so it is what it is. Unless it says what colour it is, I don't really know. But these bad boys here, they look really good. Uh, your graphics cards, again, everything from your, you know, down from 1063 gigs, you've go right up to, where are we? Where's the 30? They've got 3870s. Okay, and then they've got. 30 80s and then they've got 30 90s 30 60 ti and they've also got a 60 so i don't think they've got 67 no, no 6700 but they've got 6800 and then they've got the xt variant no they haven't 6900 xt there we go storage Again, all kinds of storage, SSDs, M.2s, and hard disk drives. Power supplies, everything from your basic um, 200, which is a, a Sheen, uh, these ones. So, so, so I've only got six and four, so I don't need the two. Up to, you know, your, your 1600s, which is your Corsair. Uh, I wonder if I've got 1600, I think I've used them all. No, I've used them all. But anyway. Oh. Also, what you have, if you go to the computer, is a custom water cooling shop. So you can get radiators, reservoirs, CPU blocks, water cool GPUs, all the coolants, the connectors, reservoir compatibility. So what you do is select a case. So let's just bat battle cruiser. And then it, the nice thing about this, never used to be in the game, the nice thing about this is that you can choose and then you know you ain't got faff around buying a case and then find it doesn't work. You can only get a certain amount of cases, which I have to pick one up to demonstrate. Oh, go going out, wrong way. Right click, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you have a lot of jobs and a lot of cases that you've bought, and they'll only fit eight, you get a little note from the postman that tells you, it'll bring it tomorrow or the next day. So that's your basic. Then you get your razor workshop, which um, it's all green, I suppose. I think you can tell me if I'm wrong. But green, be green, be green. There we go. So again, you get everything that you just had in your workshop. So what you're working on. Um, this is obviously storage cupboard. Again, tab out of that whiteboard where you have your jobs, and then got some nice razor Nari Ultimate. Some lovely keyboards, Chroma. What's these? Base station. Oh, that's to hang your headphones on, I think. Um, wireless gaming, possible gaming router. And then you've got your keyboards. So, Black Widows mostly. Um, I think I can't really see them down there. But um, they don't actually have any GPUs or anything because obviously they don't make them, but um, keyboards, mice, headphones, and everything else. And there's also cases that, you can get a case that's designed by Razer as well. So Huntsman Elite, that's that one. Then next workshop, Public Gamers. This is a, a quite a nice one. And this is the Asus workshop, again, very bright. Um, they have got all their keyboards, headphones. They've got their 
their mice there, etc. But they've got no GPUs. Again, there is cases um, designed by the manufacturers, um, and obviously all the GPUs you can get from Asus motherboards, etc. So this is my actual working PC, which I designed myself, which is pretty cool. And then next workshop, uh, NZXT. Now, if you see the way NZXT Studio is designed, um, this part here is like what they have in their cases. It's a similar sort of thing. It's not quite bang on, but you'll see from their stock there, they have the 510 Elite, Krakens, um, again, XM2s, they've got Krakens up there. Um, they've got their cases, etc. again, pretty much standard, um, with a big fat NZXT, what I'd call a big fat donut. Um, and that's pretty basic, really, to be fair, but nice nonetheless, a little bit of merch. Uh, then we have overclockers, and this is the UK where I'm based, so this is a UK one, and yeah, it's all right, it's pretty basic, but it's a workshop, it's not a main manufacturer, so it is a workshop with a few bits in there. It's got some overclockers stuff, looks like a, an eight pack, it's a toaster, nice, eight pack of armor, certainly, and it can't be a PC, surely, it's a toaster, ha, that'd be a toasty PC. <laughs> Um, oh, they've got some nice mouse there, there's a case, Colink, Colink, sounds like colic, what you get is a kid, uh, some mice there, um, obviously goes through, they've got their, uh, looks like LN2s, yeah, for overclocking, uh, they've got their fridge, the diff, the chili, Costume in the cupboard under the stairs. Does the postman deliver letter post when it been showing? I have no idea what that is. Liquid nitrogen. More bread. Gummy bears. Ah, nice. Um, so, all the different bits of tools, etc. All the CPUs. Um, and obviously all the LN2 pots, etc. CPU trays and that. So, it's a working workshop. And then finally, the best one out of the lot. This is the absolute hairy bits of what hangs on your nutsack. Absolutely fantastic. So look at this, look at that. What a presence you get when you walk in. Aorus Gigabyte, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, big beast. And it's pretty basic here but it's got some really cool features so we go over here oh actually i missed that first bit if you go down here we've got a nice little setup of mother bolts there i don't know what they are but there's a nice little pc there doesn't really give a that's that looks like a thread ripper no that's not that's the back of it what a dick um no but you got some gpus water cooled these two are because they were in the inventory. This, so these are water cooled ones. That's a water cooled GPU. And then we've got the water cooled there. Some nice GPUs on display. And then over here you've got a whole heap. So you've got Z490 boards, Z550s, X570s, it's nice. Uh, and then you've got some cards. That is a 20, looks like 28 Super. Super again, and then your Z490 Aorus Ultra. I think these are special edition. Um, and a few other bits. I think there are SSDs in there. The Gigabyte um, Gen 4 SSDs. I, don't, I can't see them down there. But the best part of this, in all honesty, is the best in the game. Absolutely the best. Press lift, and it's down to the bottom. And look at that. Oh, my lordy. So, <clears throat> you can actually change. So you've got ruby skin. So let's change to an iron skin. Press the button, and then you can watch the little transfer. Little drone comes around, and then big boy starts moving. Scan him up, and it changes to iron. Yes, sir. And then 
it goes on the brows around the lot. Look at them. Look at them all connected. That's like a, a mining rig. All these look like mining rigs. But GPUs, motherboards. There's another Aura Leaf. X570, I think. Looking at the I.O. Um, and they're GPUs. And then on the tables, you can't um, interact with this stuff here. But what you can interact with is the VR headset. So into the VR view. And as far as I've worked out, that's it. It's, it's a shame they don't do a full, you know, you could actually wander around and do a virtual reality tour. But that is the particular workshop. So, that's just a little taste, a little run around of what there is. Um, so, yeah, so you've got 3D Mark. So, obviously, if you want to... Um, you know, get a, a total of your um, GPU and CPU together combined, which gives you your score. At the same time, that also there is a OCCT here, which does your CPU temperatures, GPU temperatures. This is based on my system that I use, that I built for the work. So it's current. So if I click it on, it'll what it'll do is stress the CPU and see how the temperatures go. I've got an i9 10940X on a Asus ROG Rampage eight, uh, 6 Apex. GPUs, I've got 2080 Ti's, Alpha Core, Ice Block. Now they're a water cooled system, which I've overclocked. So you can see our temperatures are very high on there, which is quite high. But then if you want to do, you know, your GPU, you can do infinite, and then you bring up your GPU tuner, and you can bring up your core clock and your memory clock. So you fiddle about with that, apply, and then get it as close as you can. CPU temp, if you get, it'll tell you if you're thermally throttling, if you're going over about 95, 96 degrees. So, uh, what else have we got here? You can select your wallpapers, different wallpapers. So, for example, you've got all those. Uh, nice wallpaper, where are we? Um, a lot of these are for the DLC of the eSports one they had, so car, these are the games and these are the teams and then you have different wallpapers in general that's it, there's nothing major about the wallpapers but if you want to pick one, pick one there we go, um, got a music player, play all sorts of music obviously you can't play music because they get a strike otherwise but um, system info, so I've got a water cooled GPU, which tells you then you've got your RAMs. What have I got on RAM? I've got Trident Z Silvers, 16 gig at 4000, and then I've got the Gigabyte Gen 4 SSD. And then those are your cores, tells you all the different bits you want to know, so temperatures, etc. And yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll leave it there for now. And then I'll make some more videos. And um, if you like it, subscribe and like. And uh, you can always leave comments in and say, build me this and build me that. You, why not? Can't buy them at the moment. So let's have a bit of fun building some systems. Um, have a bit of a play around. Thank you very much. And I'll speak to you soon.